Hey, what's up, Unbroken Nation? In those moments after you recognize that it's okay to move forward, we get stuck in these narratives of determining who we are based on the experiences around us. We say, this is us. This is who I am, this person. When you start using language like that, it's very dangerous. If you go, I am depressed, I am anxious, I am sad. But think about this. What if you use words like, I am excited, I am energetic, I am happy, I am. Like, even I can't even not smile saying it, right? Because your brain, like, even in real time, like, I feel my body changing just by changing the words that I'm using. And you can take that energy and you can go and put it into your life to get yourself up and out and into what is next. There's always room for sadness. There's always room for grief and hurt because that's the way the world works and we're fucking human beings and you got to own that shit. But there comes a point in time and I think this is the point that I'm getting. I don't think I know. This is the point I'm getting to because this is what my experience was. There's a point in time in which you're going to have to say to yourself, all right, let's go. I was not okay for a while and that's okay. I was not okay for a few days. That's fine. I was in a bad place for a couple of days. Got it. And then get your ass up and go. Go back into life. Go back into whatever that thing is that excites you and fires you up. Get off of social media. Get off the TV. Get off the news. And get into what it is that brings you happiness and fulfillment. And one of the greatest things that you can do in those moments of down is to go and serve. And go and help other people. And go be a light for other people in the darkness. Because guess what? You might be the person that they need today. You showing up, you being okay with getting back to your life could be something life-changing for someone else. And that's a thing that you have to take into consideration when you're going through this process every single day. There's going to be that bad days. There's going to be good days. There's going to be man in the middle kind of days, right? But can you still show up? Can you still follow through? Can you be okay? Because look, think about this. I'll tell you a secret. I guess it's not a secret because I put it in my book. I don't know why I phrase it that way. My therapist about five years ago, I was in this really fucking bummed out place in my life. Real bummed out. I was just mad about everything. Just upset. I was hurt. I was just so tired of therapy. I was so tired of Wednesday afternoons and Monday mornings and spending all my time and money in these therapists' office and EMDR, CBT, group therapy, men's group therapy, trauma-informed, just doing all of it, man. I was just fucking tired. And I was like, man, I think I'm depressed. I never actually used those words before. And he looks at me, he goes, you know, you can be depressed and still tend your garden. You can be depressed and still tend your garden. I was like, damn, so profound. Even at this moment, I'm like, damn. Because that means you can still show up. It's not that you can't be emotional. It's not that you can't be sad. It's not that you can't even fucking be depressed. But you can still show up. You can still live your life. You can go to that class, read that book, do that thing you said you were going to do. Be around those family. Be around those friends. Be around the people that bring energy and life into you. You don't have to be by yourself. You don't have to be ostracized. 